Hi guys, in today's video, we're going to go over the strategy in which you could make money out of Section 8 in real estate for beginners, guys, okay? The first thing that you want to pay very close attention is that you need to become a Section 8 landlord. There are three main things that you should follow. First thing is that you need to rent to Section 8 voucher holders. These are people who qualify for government to pay a portion of their rent directly to you. This is why you will have much uh, higher uh, security and lower vacancy rates, typically based on the areas, fair market rent and tenants income. Second thing is you need to have the reduced vacancy rates. This is the big downside over here. Tenants with vouchers usually have a stable income, you know, leading to a fewer vacancies and consistent rental income. But the downside is that you know the government is not stupid and they're not going to pay premium for your location. The third thing is that potentially lower maintenance costs. So some programs offer reimbursements for repairs and maintenance done according to the program guidance. This is you no know, relatively good news because if something breaks in the house, electricity, plumbing, something, you might actually ask the government to pay and cover this sometimes. The second thing you need to consider is wholesaling Section 8 contracts. So how this actually works, first you need to find a motivated seller with property eligible for Section 8. Then you need to secure the property under contract at the below market price, below market value. Find an investor that is interested in the property and is willing to pay cash. And, you know, you want to let them know that this is uh, eligible Section 8 property. This is very important. Then you need to assign the contract to the investor for a fee. This is the assignment fee. This is where the money uh, are be making for you. Okay. And then you can move on to the next step, which is uh, essentially following the regulations and things that are in place from the government. You can also do something known as a double close, but this is a little more complicated, which means that you have to buy the property yourself and then resell it quickly to the investor for a profit, which is, uh, requires upfront costs and greater risk, as you may have guessed. What are the important notes and things that you should consider before we get into this? Regulations and requirements vary by location, so guys, as a landlord, you want to make sure you're aware of the responsibilities that are coming with Section 8. Uh, you will need to comply with all the program inspections. They will be coming and checking, right? Is the heat working? Is the roof leaking? You know, is the water running? All these things. And you have to maintain the property much more and much better than the usual average tenants, okay? Because if something is wrong, the tenants, remember, they're paying with the government's money, so they're going to reach out to the government and might call out inspection. Also, wholesaling involves uh, greater risk, not only for Section 8, but overall wholesaling. So you want to make sure you understand all the ups and downs, advantages, disadvantages, and what could go wrong at any given point. For more videos like this, guys, subscribe and like this video.